thank you so much for for the time that that we've had here at Channel 4. It, it's just been a great ride, an incredible trip. And broadcasting business is not easy. There's a lot of change, uh, a, a lot of personality conflict sometimes. And I have been so blessed here. <laughs> you know, um, they've they've taken care of me, and, and I have to thank a couple of uh, really special people and everybody involved, uh, from Mike Burgess, who was the general manager, who really kind of brought me me up in the business and, and, and recognized that I had something to offer. And then he did a great thing by hiring Michelle Donaldson as our news director. And she was wonderful to work for. And then she took his job when Mike retired as the vice president and general manager. And working with the Hubbards, they've both just provided me with comfort and security and uh, just, a, just a lot, a lot of fun. And, and I owe them all a great uh, debt of gratitude. You know, earlier this morning, we talked about how it it's a lot of people. It's not just one or two or three of us. It's all the behind the scenes folks. And, and I want to recognize somebody that hardly ever gets any attention and deserves a world of it. And that's Lilia Trejo, who mm -hmm. works at the front desk. She's we our receptionist, her. has been here, you know, for probably about as long as I have. And yeah. she's just sweet and wonderful and kind and caring. And, and that first impression you get when you walk in the door at KOB4. Um, to all of my co-anchors and uh, the producers and the reporters, and the floor crew that I've had the honor to work with. It has been such a pleasure, and I'm really hoping that we'll be able to stay in touch. You know, I'm going to go on the tour. I'm going to be visiting about 15, 16 communities around the state, and we'll publicize that so you'll have a chance to come out. But my real reason for leaving is not that I don't like this job. I love this job, and it's been very, very hard to walk away, and Michelle and I have been talking about it for a couple years, but I've just truly felt the Lord telling me that it's time to commit the rest of my days while I have some health and some time left to, to doing full-time ministry. So I'm not exactly sure what that's going to entail. Hope to be able to visit a lot of different churches and ministries and charities and nonprofits around the state. Hope to be able to continue to make a little bit of a difference in this place that we love and that I've called home for almost 40 years now. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Take some time to really enjoy your life today. And may God bless. <laughs>